Good morning, guys. Well, so this morning I got up, made my green smoothie. I'm almost done with it. Now, today I am starting my walking on the treadmill. So I'm going to bring you guys along with me. I have my tennis shoes on. And this is something I hope that I am going to get to keep up. The one thing about it is, excuse me. We all suffer from the tiredness, the joint pain, and all the doctors say you need to exercise. I don't know about you guys, but I seem to be in a circle. I'm too tired or I ache too much, ache too much to exercise. But then again, we need our exercise to build our endurance, to build our strength, and to help with the pain. But then we're tired and in pain and we don't do it. That's me. So I got to break that cycle today, right? So I need to build my endurance. I have no strength in my arms because the job I have does not require physical activity. And then by the time I work 10 hours and get home, I don't do any. So I have just lost all the muscle strength that I could have. I've got to start building it today. So here we go. So, this is off of our kitchen. It's a dining room. I put this door up here. See? Because we have made it our exercise room. Yeah, there's a treadmill. Our exercise room slash baby high chair and baby bed. Works great. We even got a TV in the corner. Because we never use it. Even when we have company, we all gather in the kitchen, the living room, by porch. So, here we go. I'm going to take you guys with me. Let me see if I can get y'all set up here. So, this is the plan that I have. Hmm. It's not bad at all. Whoops. Okay, maybe I should have figured this out. I always use my safety clip. Always. I do not want to accidentally slip and this thing keep going. That way, if I slip, fall, or anything, it'll shut off. So, here we go. And I am only going to do 10 minutes. Start it off. I usually can go up to, like... Two miles an hour but since I'm just starting off I may not yeah I can make it that two miles an hour this is how fast it is okay now what I'm gonna do today is as long as I feel safe and steady I'm gonna move my arms while I'm up here give my arms some movement what I hope to do later is to build up of course, the speed the and longer, staying on it longer. And then also, I have two pound weights. Now, that's too much for me right now. But I'm going to find something in the house, very small, half a pound maybe, to put in both arms so that I can do this as I walk. That will strengthen and start strengthening my uh, arm muscles. But yeah, I wanted to video this to hold myself accountable. I got a calendar over there on the wall so I can mark down how many minutes I walked and how far. And hopefully this is the day for me to start doing this because the best exercise if you can walk is walking. It doesn't matter if you walk around your house, up and down the hall, whatever. It's good for your heart, it's good for your legs, it's good for your arthritis and stuff. I know arthritis hurts so bad, but just, but we do know no movement 
with arthritis causes it to get stiff and even worse. So, I am very, very excited to do this. And like I said, hold myself accountable. I won't be videoing every exercise that I do. This is my day to start. I need to get this done. I need to move. I need to strengthen my arms bad. So, I hope everybody out there is doing good. I haven't heard anything from Tremia in a while. And uh, I've missed all you guys' videos. Samantha, Carmen. I don't hardly see anybody's videos, and I know life is tough. Either you're having a good day and trying to get things done, or we're having a bad day and don't feel like it. That's me, anyway. That seems to be the way it goes. So, I am going to try to start making more videos. Uh, there's also, if you go back a couple of years on my videos, there's also a great, great video out there. Uh, and you can find it on the Lupus Foundation website. It is uh, Exercise for Lupus. It is a movement to music. Very, very light. Very easy. You can even sit down in a chair and do it. And I have neglected that for probably a year and a half now, too. So I got to start changing. I mean, I haven't stopped my smoothies. They're awesome. I don't know about you guys, but when I go off of eating good, I'm not going to call it a diet because it's not. It's a way of life. When I go away from my eating right, I feel awful. Especially if I eat sugar, I'm exhausted. Uh, my stomach doesn't feel good. Uh, I still don't eat much meat except for turkey or chicken. If I do, Every once in a while it doesn't bother me. If I start getting away from it, then I do feel bad, feel bloated. Uh, so, you know, the eating hasn't been such a hard thing for me to change other than sugar. I start craving sweets at night. So as long as I don't keep it in my house, I don't eat it. Because I'm not getting out in the middle of the night to go get it. But the exercise is a thing, you know, I'm going to keep it simple and small, 10 minutes, that's all. Uh, if you set your goals too high, I need to talk to me. If I set my goals too high and too much, I don't reach them, I get frustrated and I quit. My, my goal is going to be very simple, 10 minutes. And I still only have 5 minutes and I'm done. 10 minutes. I will work my way up from there, but that was 10 minutes that I stood here and I actually did it. And I'm proud of me. And I'll work from there. But I love you guys and I'll see you in the next video.